Welcome back. I hope you had a good time thinking about all the inventions that make your lives easier and your parents' lives easier. Our story of the week this week is about a man named Alexander Graham Bell, and he invented the telephone. Think about how important the telephone is for everybody and how often we use the telephone to stay in contact with people. Now, you know it's important that we look at some words, our words to read. Have your inch fingers ready because when we start reading, I expect you to be inching along with me when you hear these important words. Words such as early, learn, science, built, and through. You should be inching along just as if we were reading this aloud in our classroom. It's a good way to make sure you're paying attention to the story and you're keeping an eye out for these important words that you're going to see all week. You might as well get used to looking at them now so that when you get to your assignments that you know what they look like, what they sound like, to make your reading even better than it already was. Don't forget you're inching for early, learn, science, built, and through. This story about Alexander Graham Bell is a biography, and a biography tells a person's life story. It is written by someone else. That means if you were at home and you wanted to write a biography, you could write a biography about me or about your parents telling our stories from your point of view. Now we're going to read about the man who invented the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell by Lola M. Schaefer. Why is Alexander Graham Bell an important person to know? Well, you'll notice here that this is a real picture. This proves that this is a non-fiction story. It's not made up. It's real. This is a real man and this is his real picture, Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell was born in Scotland in 1847. His father was a famous teacher who taught people how to speak well. And at the bottom, we're going to go through the story. We're going to start with the beginning of his life and follow along the timeline through his life and learn about his journey. So he was born in 1847 in Scotland. Alexander's mother was deaf. She was still able to teach him to play the piano. Alexander was good at music and science. Now, deaf just means that his mother couldn't hear. But even though she couldn't hear, she still taught her son how to play the piano. Born in 1847. No new news yet on the timeline. Here's a picture, an actual picture, of the Bell family. Alexander is on the left. So this is Alexander. A real photo, non-fiction, totally real. Alexander was interested in sound. He also liked to invent things. He built a machine that could speak. He also tried to make his dog talk. Here's uh, Alexander using his early invention. In 1871, Alexander moved to Boston. During the day, he taught deaf students how to speak. At night, he did experiments with sound. The next major event in his life, he was born in 1847. 1871, he teaches deaf students in Boston. And here is a picture of what it might have been like at a classroom at the School for the Deaf. Alexander wanted to learn more about electricity. In 1874, he met Tom Watson. Tom knew how electricity worked. They began to work together. 
1874, he begins work with Tom Watson. Electricity can make sound travel through wires. Alexander stopped teaching. He did experiments day and night. He and Tom wanted to invent a machine that could send voices from one place to another. 1874, he began his work with Watson. Here's a model of Bell's first telephone. So this is the first invention he came up with that might have worked as a telephone. On March 10, 1876, Alexander and Tom reached their goal. Alexander spoke to Tom through the first telephone. So we've added a new important event to his life. They started working on it in 1874. And then just two years later, they invented a telephone together. Here is a drawing of what it might have been like when Alexander Graham Bell used his phone. Alexander and Tom made the telephone better. Soon it could send voices many miles. In 1915, they made the first telephone call across the United States. Here's a picture of the very first telephone call that went across the United States. So they invented it in 1876, but they weren't able to send a telephone phone call um, far across the United States until 1915. Imagine all the years that went into work just to make it easy for you to connect with people on other side of the country. Alexander spent his life inventing. He died in 1922. Alexander Graham Bell changed the way people communicated with one another. So, he made the first phone call across the United States in 1915, and it wasn't too many years later that he died in 1922. So he spent his entire life trying to figure out, how can I keep the world connected through the use of the telephone? Now, I want you to think about how the telephone has helped you. What inventions could you come up with that would help you in your daily life?